Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I want to welcome you to another unboxing. And this is going to be um, wonderful. I love this deck. I just got it, and it is Horror of the Little Prince. All right, so this is what the box looks like. I love it. I love the silver packaging. I love the feel of the card. It is so wonderful. I finally got it. It is done by a Swedish. Um, I'm going to leave the box there so you see what it's like. And what we're seeing here is uh, it's done by um, Raquel Paul and uh, Martina Ross. Um, wow. Beautiful, beautiful. This is what the bat looks like. I love the feelings of it. It's absolutely wonderful. Absolutely beautiful. So... We are going to be putting it here, and then we are going to be starting off by looking at uh, um, the major arcanas, okay? So we're going to be starting off looking at the major arcanas. So we have the energy of the fool. I love this energy of the fool. It's a beautiful, beautiful energy. Then we have the energy of uh, the magician, um, a wonderful al alignment of energy, mm, very, very wonderful. Then we have the eye princess and she has her sheep. Um, it's beautiful. It's about the um, universal world, the unseen world. Um, I also are just so away with this, the empress, empress beautiful 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 i love this i so love this deck it's unusual i would like the colors to be brighter um that's only my thing um i like bright colors this is kind of a dull color but it's okay then we have the emperor i love the energy of the emperor look at this is so beautiful there is another person and the energy the fox the fox has been used and in this deck and it's just so so powerful okay so i really 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 love this um deck as the back of this one then we have the hair fan and see this is what i was saying institutes your organization um um you know colleges university that sort of a thing um there it's showing up the energy of the lovers isn't this beautiful only one person holding the rose and a piece of the rose is falling off i really do love this deck um and i know you guys are saying oh my god you always love it. yes i do the energy of the chariot isn't this wonderful i so like this with the pyramids um it's like a little child playing in the snow it is gorgeous i am so feeling this deck I really love this deck. Again, the energy with a fox. So this deck has an energy with a fox that is so beautiful. Um, the energy of the strength is a fox. And um, um, not like uh, the lion, it is the energy of a fox. You can see the empress with a fox. You can see the strength with a fox, and it's beautiful. The hair fan, this is what I always say to people. Um, some sort of a truth is coming in, and you can see this wonderful wonderful energies um that is coming up that is showing that some sort of an information galactic information or information could be just coming up which is just so beautiful then i hope uh, i can fit this uh, in um we are having the wheel of the world the wheel of the world Okay, so this is good. Then we have justice. Justice. Isn't this wonderful? I really love this. It's just one person just standing there, um, balancing out the scale and having justice. And justice comes up as the number 11 card. Then we have the energy of the hangman. This is someone hanging from a out of an airplane. Airplane is on the ground. So this person is taking in some sort of a thinking about things. And my one of my favorite cards, the energy of the debt. And this is absolutely, absolutely wonderful. 
um absolutely beautiful and then we have balance and this is what i've been trying to explain to people um what the energy of balance means and this temperance and balance that is coming up and transpiring so i really really do love this deck please um for all the people who are um card readers this is a wonderful deck uh i do love it as i said um i uh, would have prefer like more colors but this is what it is um so we are just accepting how it is but it is so powerful and so beautiful we have more um here so what i'm going to do is shift in um, these over so that they can um align so that everyone can see um what is how they look and these are the major arcana okay this is just so absolutely powerful and then i'm going to be showing you guys uh, the most powerful things that i so aligned with these why i love these cards so much um there is just some sort of a um way that they do these cards that i'm going to show you so i i really really i love the colors um i'm just like full of colors so i always love that but for the rest i kind of see where they were going with this okay the emperor and justice that's why i'm always saying to people um the emperor and justice and like this dead card it is so beautiful it is someone lying their spirit is going up in the sky this is absolutely absolutely fab 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 then um we are having um the energy of um of balance okay the energy of balance and this is good then we have the energy of the devil and see this is what i'm always saying to people it has to do with um people who are pulling their strings and if you notice this is just depicted in such a perform way of what is happening in our today modern world then we have the energy of the tower and i'm glad it's not a tower it's just um, um a helicopter um that is blown up and people are falling from the sky i so do love this this is like um the modern time torx that is going on and this is so good then we have this energy of the star and as usually you can see um, that it's um, re re replying, replying in this deck. It's all about the fox, the fox. And you can see this all, all coming up. And then we have the energy of the moon. Um, this is so beautiful, this energy of the moon. I love this. It's seeing the unseen world. It's working with the unseen world. And uh, things that was not um, open is opening up for you. And then we have the energy of the sun. Isn't this beautiful? Really, with the roses on top of the hurt, the moon, and um, with the sun on top of the hurt. This is really wonderful, really beautiful. It is a beautiful alignment of energy. Then we have judgment. And this is what I've been saying to people. Judgment is about information, information that was not aware of. There again, the energy with the fox, this boy holding the fox, and it is so beautiful and wonderful so i do really love this deck i think it is an amazing an amazing an amazing deck however you're looking at it and seeing i i, I see positive alignment and the last one is the energy of the world now as you look you see the snake um the lamb um, the roses and this little child and the fox is on top of this. So uh, this is a really beautiful um, deck. I'm going to put it in the center so you guys can see it. I personally really appreciate the way they did this deck. I am so appreciate of how they work with this deck and how it shows up so many brilliant, uh, brilliant um, um, things that you would have never expected um, in a deck. So this is absolutely wonderful. So 
I hope that you guys really is admiring this deck because I think it's a, a really, really beautiful um, new deck that I've gotten. It's the Little Prince. I'm going to put it here so you guys can see it. It's the energy of the Little Prince and it's, it's, it's really, really fabulous. This is all the 21 cards, the major arcana, and I love it. It has the feelings of so... Um, now what is happening it's about now the things the issues the situation of what is now happening and this is beautiful so I hope you guys love um, this major arcana I'm going to be looking at each element one by one and showing you guys how the deck is sorry I can't be on camera but I think that this is much better um, to be uh, um, just showing um, the cards one, one by one, you can always come back and um, re-go and see um, this major arcana, how they are um, and what they look like. I really appreciate um, the makers of this deck. It's really beautiful. We're going to be looking at the energy of the ones and we have the energy of the ace of ones and the ace of ones has the energy of the snake. And I really do understand why she used the energy of the snake as the eight of ones. So you're seeing this uh, snake energy. So she has the fox and she has the snake. They have the snake in um, the second um, deck of the ones. So um, then we have the three of ones where you're creating, you're moving away and you're clearing your own energy and your own feel. And this is absolutely fabulous. The four of ones with a fox, the snake is gone and you are working your energies. And this is just so uh, unbelievable, powerful. Um, the five of ones where you see you're taking down the snake using the sword energy in order to take down the snake. OK, I'm going to put who the deck is from there so you can see the six of ones. Another fabulous, fabulous way with this airplane they have something to do with the modern world the airplane and that sort of a thing that is the six of ones then we have the seven of ones where you're standing and you're trying to protect yourself whatever is coming up and uh, at you you're standing and standing up for um injustice and equalities the eight of ones a whole lot of fastness you're dealing with groups of people um, this is wonderful. It is positive. Then we see the nine of ones with this energy of the rose, the fading rose, where you're protecting yourself from whatever is coming in and is transpiring in your world. Then the ten of ones. I really love this ten of ones because this ten of ones is that you're taking down um, whatever deceptiveness lies and deceptiveness. You are really taking down this and it is just so, so powerful. Then we are going to be looking, and this is my biggest thing, and this is what I love about this deck, is that it has uh, the page. Um, then it has the person between the ages of 18 and 45. Okay. Then we have the queen. Isn't it wonderful? And you can see the snake behind the queen, and she's looking out. And then we have the king, okay? So this is a beautiful, beautiful deck. I personally, personally um, really love this deck. It, I think they're Swedish because it was sent to me um, from Sweden. So I think they are Swedish. I'm not sure because um, there was no sort of information to say... Um, where they're from but the package came from Sweden to me um, so it's just another European country I really do love this and if you're watching this um, Martina and Rochelle this is really a really powerful deck um, I really I got it today and I think I'm going to be doing a review on it because I so love it and um, what I love about this this is about uh, like the energy in the forest and this is just so good because it's modern day things 
um, coming from out of like a, a sort of a forest setting and this is good so this is the energy of the ones energy so take a good look um, with the energy of the ones energy and then we are going to be moving on um, to the energy of the hair okay um, I always like to do um, the pentacles at the last because that gives a more powerful powerful alignment um, with this deck okay so I love this because you have the page the knight the queen and the king and this is just so different it has so many influence of animals snakes and fox so we're going to be moving on and looking at the earth energy to see what is coming out i i love the feelings of this card i like the size of this card which is just so wonderful um i like the forest setting and this is like winterland in sweden um so this is good all right so let's look at uh, the air sign so again, you see, this is an energy of the fox. I so love it because it was the liquor prince. And it's as if he went out in search to find his own life. And he's, you know, dealing with this sort of a thing. He has a fox instead of a dog. Um, so this is um, absolutely um, beautiful. The tree, the, the tree of swords with, uh, um, uh, you know, I have the tree of swords cutting the roses so it's always loss or break um a wonderful way of showing it the four of swords where i see um is as if they're going in uh, the winter season so the fox is taking the rest then i see the fox is trying to get a chicken um this is conflicts worry some details that is coming out but very very wonderful i love um the energy of uh, the three of swords which is positive six of swords false sight deceptiveness the energy of the fox is being trapped um this is so good and um, the end of a situation then we see the seven of swords where someone is trying to get away um with um like um four swords okay are they going to get away or are they going to be caught and i see the energy of the grapevine in the background then we have the eight of swords you're worried how you're going to be getting out of this situation you're lost you can't find your way um, and you're worried then we see the nine of swords where this person is totally um, um, you know not seen clearly because of uh, the influence of alcohol drugs that sort of a thing then we see that people are finding out uh, what other people have set a trap for and people are definitely finding out and seeing the strap then we have the young prince that is uh, he is listening out because he's about to take down some people <laughs> this is just so wonderful the knight that is moving forward and is about um to move away and take down anyone that is in um their way just like the energy of the knight then we have the queen of the swords She's ruling um, like um, with the swords, the, 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 the um, fists of the swords. And then we have the king of swords with his uh, um, fox at his foot. So um, this is absolutely one of these brilliant, brilliant decks. Um, and it has this winter wonderland feeling. Um, so this is just so powerful, but it has so many um, things that it is saying the um, Really the uh, message behind it. It is so beautiful the message behind it. I really so love it with the energy of the Fox and uh, um, How they have um, recreated this deck in a modern days um, And this is good. The only thing I would have think is that they would have changed the name from page um to you know the young one or that sort of a thing so um that is the only thing but the rest of it i just so love it the king and queen of this timeline and this sort of a stage this is just so powerful um leave a message and uh, go check it out i will give you enough information to use under the link and the link where you can go to find it okay on the difference um 
where you can order it. I ordered mine on eBay. I always order uh, like Cardex on eBay because PayPal and eBay, um, they're um, they collaborate together and it's a sister company. So I love this. Let me know how you feel about this deck. We are going to be moving on, and we are going to be looking at the Pentacles. Um. Mm, let's look at first, um, yeah, the pentacles because I love the love energy. So we're going to be leaving the love energy for the back. And remember, all new decks, I always do a reading um, to see what is going to be coming up for the readers and how it is going to be going um, for the creators. So Ace of Pentacles, I love it because guess what? The lamb comes in and the lamb is like one of my favorite, favorite um animals i don't know i just love the lamb and the ladybug two of pentacles a wonderful alignment of energies again we see this helicopter is coming in so obviously it is like a snow um thing it is having this the, the three of pentacles i see people like collaborating working together with each other which is just so absolutely fantastic then i see the four of pentacles where you see this businessman and this is what i'm saying is always balancing out your financial um situation and that is so good then we have the five of pentacles and it's a wonderful alignment of energy the energy of the five of pentacles is like um down on the ground and trying to um pick up things and this is good six of pentacles is so amazing because help is going to be coming in um, instead of he's drawing this person's face, he's drawing something else. And that is just so good. Then we have dinner. <laughs> and then we have the seven of pentacles where um, there's a lot to do. You're working hard. You're, um, you know, really. Then we have the eight of pentacles where um, you're seeing um, what you have created. And it's as if it is creating so many wonderful energies then we have the nine of pentacles. This is good because you have achieved what you have worked hard for. Um, money is coming in. You are planted with money. And the ten of pentacles. Oh yeah, everyone is happy. Lamb is happy. Aeroplane is fixed. It is so good. Ten of pentacles is about really family stability. Then, this is what I always say to people. Um, the pentacles people look at this person. This person is like, hey, I can sell you anything. I have it all and I am going to create this for you. Then this is kind of weird. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen, where this is like the magician coming up, this real rich man. And, and, and he's bringing news about the money. But as you go and look at the knight, he's on his little donkey and the stool um is too lamb so it's like the magic man with the money and then this little guy moving on trying to create his wealth the queen of pentacles isn't this beautiful absolutely fab 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 she's one of the most beautiful attractive queen in the deck and so many roses um her thoughts um she is so nicely dressed without shoes but it's still fabulous the king of pentacles look at him smug 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 i got my castle i got everything i want i got my money and i got my lamb looking so extremely exquisite i'm feeling it i am just so feeling um this deck so it's amazing it's amazing and this is the most funniest thing about this deck is that this man is like in a modern world and he comes and he's showing off um all of his money and then everyone else is back in the time um so it's amazing it's like as if i am going to create my wealth and i'm going to be wearing these um nice clothes and i have it because i can pull it out of the hat and you see that he's um, and everyone else is in the past time of um, centuries ago and how it went. So it is a beautiful deck. I love this sort of a deck. It's serene. It's now. It's natural. I love working with this sort of a deck. I see more of these um, 
heartworks artwork is coming in and Rochelle, um, Raquel and Martina, you did a wonderful job. I really, really love this deck. All right, so we're going to be look. So you can come back and look and stop it and look at um, each element. I will um, try to set in the video all the elements um, where they begin so you guys can use that. So this is absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Let's look at the last and final element, and it is love. So here we go, the Ace of Cups. Isn't this beautiful? Yes, I do love this. Um, it's about creating um, a, some sort of a new um, thing is coming out. Then you have the Two of Cups, and you're you know using whatever you have in order to balance out what you're receiving. Three of Cups, where... People are happy celebrating. They found water, um, clean water. Um, so this is wonderful. They, he has found a friend. He and his fox has found a friend. Four of cups. Uh, um, there is the big monster. But three cups is on the ground. So whatever you lost, you don't lost a lot. Three cups are on the ground and the roses is bright. Now the five of cups is where you have lost um you think you have lost the whole world but yet still um you should be grateful for what you have six of cups um friends you're hanging out with friends you know you have fine balance in your world seven of cups you're dreaming because there's a lot of possibility and thank god they did not make the seven of cups with all those seven different direction it's just the seven of cups. I really, really love this deck because they went their own. Um, they are visualized and see things in a different way. And this is so good. Then we have the eight of cups, which is another powerful um, energy. I love this. Um, you can see three cups here, four, um, um, seven cups, no, three, uh, five cups. And it is good. And it's just a in a shop okay and those are this olden days european shop with the walls and the vials nine of cups your wishes and dream is here you have gone through uh, alone and you have um, created all that you need to create the ten of cups oh yeah everyone is happy this is about the sheep the fox the roses you are happy you are finally being at that place that you wanted to be and this is absolutely fabulous so then we have the energy of the page and i do love this page because it's mr lover lover Ooh, he will love you off the pants then we have the knight of cups that is offering you love um his horse is having a drink of water this is just so powerful so good i love this and then we have the Queen of Cups, such a wonderful darling. Um, a wonderful positive alignment of energies. I do love this. I, I really, um, and the King of Cups. And this King of Cups is kind of weird because I was looking and I thought, oh, so that's the Queen of Cups. And then I read it. It is the King of Cups. So this is the entire deck. My favorite thing is about um, the page the knight, the queen, and the king. And I think it is just so powerful. A lot of people are coming in and said, well, it's just energy. No, it is telling you about who, is, this, who, um, is it a male, is it a female, um, what age group this person is. So um, a lot of people come in with their whole sort of style because um, it is about um, logical thinking, details about things. I love this. I am giving it a 10, um, a 10 because of the uniqueness of this deck that they went out of the normality and this is really a 10. It's really wonderful. I personally enjoy this. I haven't used it as yet. Um, I think I'm going to use it on, um, um, for the coming time. Um, this is good. It's like a winter deck also that I personally think is going to be a success. All right. So um, you can come back and um, check out um, where it is, um, each different element. So I, I will 
tag the videos where you can find the element. So let's um, just do some reading about um, how this deck is going to be going. What is the message that comes out for this deck? How can you see it? Um, I always do this. Um, um, when I do an unboxing or a deck re review, because it's wonderful to see. I think that these two um, ladies have done a really, really wonderful, wonderful um, job, okay? So in order to not bring my energy in this, we're just going to be cutting the deck, okay? In um, three... We're going to do three with this deck. And then um, we see the energy of the tower. Um, we see truths are going to be coming out, which is beautiful. And then we see whatever is coming up. Um, truths are going to be coming out. So you see a tower moment, truths are going to be coming out. And there is something, whether or not people are going to be loving it, okay? Um, then we have the energy of the magician. Um, then we have uh, the three of cups, success and celebration is going to be coming in, which is beautiful. And then we have the ten of cups. So this deck, despite um, what people are going to be saying about this deck, it is just going to be um, still a success. Okay, the ten of cups. So this is wonderful. Um, so I see um, a lot of uh, um, truths um, is going to be coming out. Um, I see um, people who have been working um, or are going to be um, having their um, peace over this deck. Um, I definitely see um, that, you know, whatever the issue or the situation is, I see a whole lot of uh, positivity. See, even if people kind of looked at it weird in the beginning, um, this is going to be really a positive, positive um, deck. So that's it. That's how the box looks. Um, I really, really like this um, deck. And um, for, the, for just having um, the, um, the knight and the king and queens, we're just having this deck this deck is really a deck of uh, a 10 so i hope you enjoyed this namaste please like and share these share 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 and pick it up for someone who does reading as a gift for christmas or thanksgiving and i'm saying namaste i'm out till next time